Do you uh, fear Iran uh, intruding on the whole Persian Gulf if the United States, as you asked for in the debate last week, left the region? Do you fear that? Well, I, I fear that they uh, might want to do that, but I think our policy is leading to that. Everything that we do enhances the Ahmadinejad crowd in Iran. Uh, there's a dissenting force in Iran, and everything we do to undermine that government, we have our own CIA over there now trying to undermine that government. In doing that, we bring all their people together, so the ones who want to dissent and oppose him, are, you know, they lose their, their uh, power to do so. So I would say our policy is doing everything uh, conceivable to enhance Iran. Just the whole invasion of Iraq has helped, uh, helped uh, Iran. Well, that may or may not. Uh, not be true. They're, they're the one, it well, may or may not be true. I mean, it's a debatable it. issue. I'm not going to say it isn't true, but it's a debatable issue. But look, as we saw in the uh, summer war last year, Iran can arm and finance a force like Hezbollah and cause a lot of trouble. And the United States don't have anything to do with that at all. So I think that um, in our national security situation, we have to assume that Iran is an aggressive nation, that it wants to injure the United States, and it's going to use surrogates to do it. Now, if you have an Iran actively seeking nuclear weaponry, as you do, and if you have the ability of that country to hand it off to a Hezbollah or an Al-Qaeda or anybody else, you withdraw from the region, you give them carte blanche to do what they want, do you not, Congressman? See, I think you're concerned about the wrong country right now because more more than half of the al-Qaeda that are committing suicide in Iraq right now are Saudis, and nobody even talks okay, about look, that. Okay, look, I'm concerned about think, all the I, things, wait, but, me, please but when they're seeking answer. a nuclear weapon, when a country's seeking a nuclear weapon that's a danger to the USA, a stated danger, and you want to withdraw from the theater, that gives them carte blanche to do what they want, does it not? Well, well, first off, uh, you know, you have Pakistan, and they're not exactly the most pro-Western Okay, but I'm talking country. about Iran, Congressman. I'm not talking about Pakistan well, why at this point. Well, why don't you ever let me, uh, you know, answer, answer the question? Because you're not directly answer the answering question. the question, sir. Because, uh, the, no, I do not fear them, as, li as you do, as many do, because they want another war. They want to spread this war. This has been the plan by the neoconservatives to have this major overall, uh, this revamping of the whole Middle East, precisely the reason the al-Qaeda is growing. The al-Qaeda is growing because of our policy. Our national security is threatened because of our policy, and it makes it much worse. So I see the Iranians as acting logically and defensively. We've been fighting the Iranians since 1953. We overthrew their government through the CIA in 1953. We, we were allies with Saddam Hussein in the 1980s, and we encouraged him to invade All right, so I just uh, want to get Iran. To, I don't, we don't need a history lesson, but I do want to get this but on you the have record. To, you have to understand. I do you understand, have to understand the region, the man, but we don't have time don't to do the history, history lesson history, tonight. I just understand. want to get this on the record. You don't fear Iran, even though Iran has demonstrated it can start a war, which it did last summer, with its Hezbollah Hell. surrogates, and it's stated, it's stated that it wants to do damage to Israel, wipe it off the face of the okay. earth, and, you got and is developing a nuclear weapon. And you don't fear them? You, yes, I, I worry about it. I'm concerned about it. But what I'm saying is the very policy that you advocate is encouraging that. What I'm saying, Bill, is this. They put it in perspective. They don't have a weapon. They're not likely to get one in 10 years, according to our CIA. That's not true. Just that's, think that's about, not true. Just think, I mean, uh, right, everybody says it's it five sooner? years or less, and it, without us in the theater, it's going to happen a lot quicker. How come, how come we got through the Cold War when the Soviets had 40,000 of them? Because it was, was mutual drafted. destruction. Was it was mutual destruction. Now you can hand okay. off any weaponry or any kind of thing to surrogates who will do your killing for you. You look, this if you don't think Iran is sponsoring terrorism, you're living in a land of Oz, Congressman. Well, so Saudi Arabia. What are you going to do with Saudi? What are you going to do with Pakistan? It's not a government policy countries? of Saudi Arabia. It's just their failure to do any effective policing. It's policy in Iran to wipe out Israel, policy, to attack USA. It's our policy of preemptive, deliberate invasions of foreign countries and occupying these countries that has jeopardized our safety. This blowback principle is what caused 9-11, and we have to come to realize that if you keep living in this dreamland of saying that they attack us because we're free and prosperous, believe me, we're never well, going to get up Well, if you think that we, if we withdraw off the, off the Gulf, if we get our people out of there, it's not going to be any more terrorism, then you're living in the dreamland. You didn't even want to go into Afghanistan 
punish those people, did you? You're wrong, Bill. You're wrong on that. I voted for that. So you be careful on your quotes. I mean, you're well, just in a debate, you said you don't want to be there. You don't want to be in Afghanistan. Well, they didn't. They didn't do what we were supposed to. We were supposed to go after the after Osama bin Laden. We let him go into Pakistan. We didn't let so him go anywhere. He escaped in there. That's war. Uh, That's yeah, what happens in I, I war. Know. But what did we do? We went into doing exactly what Bush said he wouldn't do, into nation All building. All right, let me do I got, only got, I got one more question. We're in Afghanistan now trying to have that country stem back the Taliban tide. Are we doing the wrong thing there? Right now, we're doing the wrong thing because we didn't do what he was authorized to do. The All president right. ignored going after bin Laden, and we don't need to be in nation building. We need to defend this country and defend our national security, and our national security interests are not served by the policy that we're All following right. in the Middle East. It's, do, it's undermining our national security. Congress, we got we it. have to come to realize it. We got it, and we appreciate the lively debate. Thanks for appearing tonight. Next on The Rundown, Willow.